Shalom and good day, all this is the Healing 29 back again for another DC review. And in this DC review, I'll be covering Action Comics 1066 and also 1086 of Detective Comics. I'll now get things ready and organized for the first one that I'll be reviewing. So, the first one that I'll be reviewing will be Action Comics issue 1066. And moving into first things first, does this cover in any way, shape, or form connect to something that is happening inside with the story? Sure enough, it does, to which I give a 7 out of 10. Now it's time to cover the area of the internal art around the beginning, middle, and of course the end. Um, one thing I will be pointing out is that I will not be covering the backstory having to do with Lena and Lex Luthor. So as the story begins, uh, we have... The issue with the Brainiac Queen, once again, making um, things hell for the Super Family. And, of course, we have all the things that are happening with Superman and Lex Luthor and anyone else that is here. As we start to draw towards the middle, we get other Superman family members also bringing in their impact in regards to the story. And, of course, we've got other characters of Brainiac about. And, last but not least, the rest will be concluded in Superman issue 15, which will be probably done in a video after this one. So, for the internal art, I give it a 7 out of 10. Now, it's time to move into the area of the story. Uh, do we get any comic book references um, in relation to... What is happening here with the story? Sure enough, we do with the Superman the Chained um, arc, which happened recently in the Joshua Williamson run. Next is the area of time, to which we get no indication of time. Next is the location, to which it takes place in deep space in the Brainiac ship. The cast of characters consisting of Clark and Superman. Uh, we have Lena, Luthor, uh, Connor Kent, Supergirl, we also have the appearance of the Super Twins, once again, um, pass those twins off to another family, not the Superman family, uh, I don't care if, um, Mr. Terrific has them, just someone other than Superman, and of course, Lena and Lex Luthor, Uh, for the overall story rating in this, I do give a 7 out of 10. Now it's time to move into the Detective Comics run. So, as we jump into the Detective Comics run, um, does this cover in any way, shape, or form connect to something that is happening inside with the story? Sure enough, it does, to which I give it a 7 out of 10. I will not be covering any backstory, if there is any backstory in this. So now we will move into the area of the internal art around the beginning, middle, and end, and also what's happening story-wise with the characters. So as the story begins, we return to Gotham, and of course, whilst we're in a very big train yard, it looks more like almost like a train graveyard in Gotham, uh, we also catch up with the character of Harvey Dent. Whilst this is happening, we also have Batman catching up with um, Jim Gordon, and to which Jim Gordon is uh, cracking on the, the case with some of the things in relation to Dualadent, so the daughter of Harvey, and we, as we return home, we realise that, or as we return towards the end of the sto story, we realise that Dualadent has actually killed, um, I guess her adoptive parents because of something that the Joker has done while she did catch up with the character in the run. So for the internal art, I give a 7 out of 10. Now it's time to move in relation to the area of the story. Did this story give us any comic book references that are really important to something that might be happening in this chapter? Nah, not at all. 
Uh, next is the area of time, uh, to which we had later. Next is the location, to which we have Gotham. Last but not least, we have the char uh, cast of characters, to which we have Batman, Bruce Wayne, Two-Face. Uh, we have Duella Dent, the character of the Joker. Of course, we have the return of the Orgums, um, something known as the Shadow Angel. And we have Nightwing, Azrael. Uh, Cassie Kane, Batgirl. For the overall story, uh, story rating in this, I give a 6.5 out of 10. Until then, let's keep it colourful and have yourself an awesome day.